Well, welcome again to another edition. Today we're going to change the ignition amplifier. The ignition amplifier is the little black block hiding there behind the coil. You get a bit better view of that once I've removed the coil. I've always found it easier to take that Allen key uh, bolt thing out the end of the plenum there because then the whole bracket will come off. So we'll do that first. Okay, now the coil's free there, let the brackets off. You can see here, this is the ignition amp, it's on its own little bracket. Um, if I turn it over you can see it better there. It's got two bolts holding it in. Um, these two here, that one there, that one there. And then two connectors, there's one on the top. Which is this one with the little pushy clip, you have to push that in to let it go. But then there's a sneaky blue one around the back, which you could easily miss. And I think if you maybe got that wrong, you might actually damage it. Um, so I'll undo the two bolts and then take off these two connectors. Okay, now time to set the connectors off. So this one you push, and it just comes off. And the little blue one comes off the back careful with this one. And it's away. Right, you'll notice it's covered in that white thermal gunk. So you need to either have some more of that or scrape as much of this off this one and put it on the new one. As with so many things TVR, uh, putting it back is pretty much the same as I've just shown you. To take it out so well as you can see it's all back in again now um, this is a pretty short video because it's ridiculously easy to change um, my my experience with ignition amps is they they don't tend to fail slowly not like the coil you'll notice I've got a brand new coil on this because it started to misfire and it misfired for hundreds of miles until I was able to get to somewhere where I could get a new one if the ignition amp had failed, that would have been it for the day. Um, they're like a potted component and my experience is they just fail. You don't get much of a warning, you'll pull up somewhere and stop and then it just won't start. Um, good idea to carry a spare. Um, they're not ridiculously expensive but try and get an original Lucas one if you can. Uh, 